Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna. We're getting ready to do a Capricorn love reading and we're getting the overall energy. I want to thank all my beautiful subscribers for showing up so consistently and giving me so much support. Thank you. A higher view, Capricorn, you're looking at things from a higher perspective, much like hanged man energy, you know, really taking a look at the big overview you want an angelic you want a very spiritual outcome in your life right now and you really are in uncharted waters okay capricorn intriguing reading one more card for your overall energy so you are experiencing something that you've never experienced body and soul Ooh, that looks like an exciting reading i'm excited to get started okay capricorn capricorn so let's see what's going on in the lives of our Capricorn friends. Watchers, cross watchers, everyone's welcome here in this channel. I appreciate your time. All right, so you are very much in love with somebody. You are in your feels, Cancerian energy, really, really feeling very emotional about someone. And it looks like it's an experience you've never had before. Let's see what your current energy is. You are feeling sexy and hot and bright and fun, enthusiastic, the Aries queen, the Cancerian queen. You could also be dealing with people with those sun signs, moon rising or Venus. Okay, so how do you see the future as it unfolds? You are throwing caution to the winds. You are on board. You are in it to win it, as we say. The Nine of Swords, though, says that you're very much all up in your head about this. In your heart space, you feel as though you're falling in love with this person. The Ten of Cups is how you see the relationship moving forward. Beautiful Pisces energy. The nine, uh, the Ten of Swords is also you've let go of some sort of situation in which somebody had, you know, you had a painful ending. This is a card that really speaks to the fact that you, um, you know, you've walked away from something that was very, very difficult for you. And it feels like a betrayal of some sort. Ten of Swords typically is an act of betrayal towards you. So it's, um, you know, you're in a very vulnerable place. Two tens, it's a new beginning. Hidden right now in your energy is a five of cups. You feel as though somebody does owe you an apology. Um, you're feeling very sad. And all is not lost, though. That Five of Cups energy can be a bit deceiving. What is Spirit recommending? That you heal thyself. Physician, heal thyself. That's what Spirit says right now, is take time out for yourself. Get a lot of rest. Take care of yourself. Heal your broken heart. We have the World card. Okay. So right now, what we see for you, Capricorn, is you are wanting to have a very successful cycle in love. You're in uncharted water, so you don't really know what that's going to look like. So we're going to get the clarifiers here and see what is happening, because it does look like you have, you have three completion cards. And so for some of you, you may have left a marriage. For some others of you... You may have had somebody leave you to marry someone else, but it does look like you're very actively involved in, um, you know, being out there, putting yourself out there. Why is the Queen of Cups here? We have the Moon card, Neptunian energy, Pisces energy. You're feeling really underwater. What is it that makes you feel this person is so sexy, this person of interest? Ooh, well, the sexy Scorpio King. So again, a lot of watery fire element here. You're throwing caution to the winds. Uh, this was a person who was a friend. It looks like they were a good friend to you. Three of Cups is typically your best friend. So it does look like you may have a best friend for whom you've had this you know, very odd situation. Why is a Ten of Swords here for Capricorn? Eight of Wands. It looks as though somebody came in with all passion and no real substance. They really left you underwater. They really left you feeling, you felt as though you could trust this person. You really felt as though you could trust them. The Magician card says that they're still trying to manifest you. You're still trying to manifest them. So it's an awkward, you know, certainly an awkward situation, but you do feel like you can't win. 
and I would have to agree that that would be a difficult win to have with this person. So the cards that fell on the floor, you know me, I take all the cards, the Ten of Wands, walking away. It is also, it shows me that it's very likely you may have fallen in love with a good friend or you met, may have met someone through work with whom you became friends and there was a fling of some sort. You know, throwing caution to the wind, stepping over the boundaries, finding that, you know, you're left in the cold at the end of the day, that this person isn't going to really give you what you want. The strength of the bond is very powerful. You know, your relationship is, is very, very powerful and important to both of you. But, you know, again, we get this player energy next to the marriage card, um, Eight of Swords. This person has decided that, you know, they aren't going to leave. So you go from the Eight of Swords, you know, to the, the Ten of Swords over here. Five of Coins leaving you out in the cold. So, so for many of you, your person is committed elsewhere. I feel that your person loves you. They're feeling sad. They feel like their hands are tied. So their emotions are pretty intense also in all of this. So the Five of Cups shows what's hidden you. You are hiding right now how hurt you are by the situation. Your Queen of Pentacles energy. There you are, Capricorn, in your reading. So you're trying to keep this to yourself. You're not. You're trying to hide it from the world. Is in essence, you're putting on a very uh, strong, powerful outer shell for people to see. Spirit's advice on this situation is. Look for somebody who can give to you equally, okay? So spirits, being very specific here. Look for somebody with Taurus grounded energy who can really give you something other than just emotions. But you have definitely fallen into a situation in which you've never encountered before. Loving somebody, body and soul, ten of coins is the outcome with the three of swords. A broken heart because someone's married. And we have the, this is not surprising, the... Aries Emperor here, okay? So, the it's very uh, tough, tough energy, right? I mean, at the end of the day, it looks as though this person's still trying to manifest you. I think that they're being very honest with you. I think they're being very blunt with you. I think they're saying, look it, I really do love you, but I'm not going to leave my marriage. You know, I have, I'll lose my money. And this player energy really, really just tells a story. So it makes sense that you would feel stabbed in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and take this to the extended. We're going to dive into what's going on with this person and then what's going on for you in your future. We're going to see what it is, why they won't. They're not going to let you alone. I will say that. This person is going to keep trying to pursue you. They are going to keep trying to have a relationship with you. So we're going to dive into that in a very deep way. And then as a secondary um, spread of cards there, we're going to really look and see where you want to go because because with the Ten of Swords, I feel as though you're not staying in this. The Ten of Swords says, I've had enough. I'm walking away. This was too painful. You still have fire in your belly for this person, but I just don't see you wanting to, to really stay in a situation that hurts you. And you are in uncharted water, so you're not quite sure what to do. So we're going to look and see how you should best uh, handle this situation. So sending you love from Chicago since I'm back. Tell me how this resonates and hope to see you in another reading if I don't see you in the extended. Thank you, Cap. Bye-bye.